Hi, in this video I'm looking at the reliability of a particular brand of inductor is 0.978 for 100 hours of operation. The working life of this inductor is modelled by an exponential distribution and we want to determine the median and explain what that means in terms of this scenario and the period the probability of failure is less than 10%. So let's start off with part A. Part A is that we have the reliability of 100 hours of operation is 0.978. So that means because we're in exponential distribution, we can use a reliability function. And it says the reliability of 100 is equal to 0 0.978. And for exponential distribution, the reliability function of some time is e to the negative lambda t. So if we put these two pieces of information together, we have that 0 0.978 is equal to e to the negative, and we don't know lambda, times 100. And so what we need to do is work out lambda. So lambda can be worked out. First, let's take the log of both sides. That way we can deal with this E. So I'll take the natural log of 0 0.978 is going to leave us with just negative lambda times 100, or negative 100 lambda. And so now if I divide that negative lambda, a uh, negative 100 off, I'm going to have the natural log of 0 0.978 divided by, we'll move the negative up 100, and so lambda for this scenario is 0 0.000222. But that doesn't help us work out the median. What helps us work out the median is the function for median for a exponential distribution. And that rule, the median, is given by the natural log of 2 divided by lambda. So we're going to have the natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.000222. And so that gets us a median of 3,115.883. So we've got the median. What does that mean? Well, what it means is that our median, because this is in time, the median is about 3,116 hours, because we've got hours up as our units up here, and so, at least 50%, because the median is halfway, which is 50%, <clears throat> of these inductors will work for that time. Will work for our 3,116 hours. So there we go. That's the median, and what it means is that at least 50% will last for that number. So let's go and have a look at part B. Part B is asking for the period the probability of failure is less than 10%. So that means that our probability of failure is less than 0 0.1, because 10% is 0 0.1. And failure is the opposite of success so we can use our reliability function, r of t, and take the complementary, which means that less than complementary is op greater than or equal to 1 minus 0 0.1 is 0 0.9. So our probability of failure being less than 0.1 is our probability of success, our reliability of being greater than or equal to 0.9. So if we substitute in using our reliability function from up here, which is that e to the negative lambda, which we worked out before is 0 0.000222 multiplied by time, is going to have to be greater than or equal to 0 0.9. So I want to find the time. 
So I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. When the natural log is 0 0.9, is going to be greater than or equal to. The natural log is going to remove our e, so we're going to have negative 0 0.000222 multiplied by time. And so I can get time by dividing off, so time is going to be greater than or equal to the natural log of 0 0.9 divided by negative 0 0.000222. And so if we work that out, our time is greater than or equal to 473.62. And this is of course hours. And so what this means is that the probability of failure is less than 10% for a period of less than 474 hours. So because our probability of it lasting, of being reliable, was more than 0.9, we have the probability of failure is less than 10%, means that it will last for then less than 474 hours.